What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I can't believe I'm making a video on this, but it is Sons of the Forest where the building system is always so kind to us. This will be a quick video on building a stone fireplace inside of a wall. The game wants us to place them in front of a wall, which I think looks a little awkward, and you can't build off of them either to fix it. So here's a simple solution with no mods used to incorporate it into a wall to save you any headaches down the road while you're building. To get started, I'm going to place a one by one platform and I'm going to use stone as a foundation because I think it looks better and it's also easier to line up the fireplace later. You'll get what I mean in a second. Now that we have this built, I want to bring out my handy dandy book. <clears throat> I know, I'm using a book. What channel are we on? And bring up the fireplace. Actually, I want to point something out first. Whether it's stone or a log, if you have the wall built first, or even just one, the fireplace is slightly bigger than a wall, which is the whole entire problem of this. So when you go to place it, it'll either be red like this, or it tries to kind of curl it around it. If you have any kind of wall built already, it's going to say no and make you place it in front of it, but we're gonna fix that. So starting off with no walls, we pull out our handy dandy book again. What you wanna do first is try to line this up, and it's a little weird. I find it easier to place it actually a little bit in front of the wall first. So if you look at that, it looks pretty good. And I know it looks a little off, uh, but the fireplace is actually curved a pinch. I find the easiest way to do this is to place down the template from the back side of it. And you don't want to compare it to the wood, you actually want to compare it to the stone, meaning the left and right, because you want it to overlap just a pinch. Another thing to consider as well is I found it very hard to line it up from a 90 degree angle. Coming off to the side just a pinch. It helps you find the rear of it and also you can look at the left and right a little bit better. So I'm going to try here. And we'll build this up. This could take a couple times to get it perfect. You can see now how I mentioned that it's it's kind of curved, but it looks lined up pretty good in the back. Now let's try to build the walls around them and see how good I actually did. You can see I should have went off to the right just a pinch, but the left is going to look really good. I took it apart and moved it around a little bit. Now you can see that it incorporates really well. And this is all buildable now. So I'm gonna build a wall on each side of it. This is what the fireplace looks like built into a wall, rather than in front of it. I think it looks much better. Let me know what you think. Oh, and not to mention, <laughs> you're not even putting all the carbon monoxide inside of your house anymore. It's actually going outside. Now, I also want to mention that this can be filled in with wood as well. And I think it looks just as good. And that's what it looks like with wood. Now there is a little bit of a gap, which is annoying. 
Uh, the way to fix this is just to get rid of this one wood beam. And replace this one with stone and it'll look much better. Like that. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this idea. Till the next one, I'll see you.